Hi, this is Chris. And Catherine. From Lightwood Games. We're going to show you how to solve a pick a pick's colour puzzle. Yes, we In are. case you don't know. If you've played Picross or other non-ground games before, this is going to be familiar, but it's probably slightly different if you've only done black and white puzzles. If you've never played them before, it's a complete introduction to how to play. Yes. This is using the pick a pick's colour demo, which is now available on the Nintendo eShop, and it's a free download. So if you want to play along with what we're doing, that would be a fine way to keep up. Um, or go ahead, experiment, and see how you get on. Um, but as an introduction to how you solve them, we'll show you what to do. Yes, we will. So the way pick a picks is organized is this grid of squares with clues around the outside, and the end result will be a picture. It won't be an incredibly detailed picture on a 5x5 <laughs> five five grid, but it will be a picture nevertheless. So, explain how you interpret these clues. Okay, so the clues tell you how many squares are going to be coloured in each row and column. Uh, a good place to start is looking for rows and columns where the numbers add up to the number of squares in that row and column. So, nice easy place to start in this one is that this column here says five and they need to be green. So we can colour in all five green. Because there's not room for it to go anywhere else in that column, it is the entire five. Indeed. Then looking at the bottom row, um, we have one brown, one green, and then three brown. We already have the one green filled in from what we just did. So we can fill in the rest as brown because we've got one brown before, and three browns after, and that's all five squares coloured in. That's in fact all the browns in the puzzle done. It is, all the browns in the puzzle done. When you start filling in clues, you will be able to tell that some squares just aren't going to have any colour in at all. Um, so we can mark these with an X. In this row here, we only needed one green. We've already coloured in one green, so the other squares can't be coloured in. So you're basically saying they're blank, but you're putting something in them that means blank, even though it's not quite. Yes, to remind yeah. you that they are definitely going to be blank. Yeah. Don't colour these in. We're done with them. Yes. We'll do the one and only yellow square okay. next. Because I think we know where that goes. <laughs> it has to go in this row and in this column, so it has to go here. And that's why these puzzles are sometimes called picture crosswords. Yes, indeed. Uh, we can then mark X's in the rest of that column and that row, yep. because we know they're complete. So we need to switch back to some more green. So adding that X in there has given you new information for that row. It has, because this row needed four greens. We know this one can't be coloured in because we've marked it, so the four green have to go in those four spaces. Okie dokie. Mark that one with an X because that column is now complete. And then we can put these last two green in and complete the puzzle. It's a picture of a tree. It is just about a picture of a tree. I believe it. Yep. You just have to like hold the device further away from yeah. your head. Hold it away, squint, and it's definitely a tree. Definitely. However, on a 10 by 10 we're going to get a whole lot more detail, aren't we? Yes, we are. It's like twice, four times as many pixels. It is four yeah. times. Not quite into megapixels, but you know, we're getting there. So this, it was the fourth puzzle, wasn't it, if you're playing along? Yes. Okay. So the new information that we need to pass on with this is where there are two clues of the same colour next to each other. For instance, on the top or on the bottom. So there's two two on the very top row there. Yep. That means they have to be separate blocks. Otherwise, it'd just be a four. Indeed. So it has to be a block of two and then at least one space and then another block of two. Yes. Whereas if you look on the row below, it's one orange, two black, one black. Between the orange and the black, there does not need to be a space. It could be an orange and the black next to each other. But there might be a space. But there might be a space. We don't know. Yes. In fact, the best place to start is probably that 811 as an example of this. It I'll does let, I'll let you take over again. conveniently add up to 10. So we know every square is going to be coloured in. So we can put in our block of 8 and then a block of pink and then one block of black. And that is a nicely completed row. Yes. And you'll notice the 811 have turned to white. They've inverted they to have. show that those clues are, well, not correct, but the right number and colour have been filled in. Let's show yes. an example of that somewhere else. It is not telling you that you are correct. It is not telling you. It is showing you that logically you have completed the right number of colour blocks in that row or column. So if you look on the row on the end where there's a six, yes. put any six in. If I put any six in. It turns white. Put yes. any other six in. But if I turn that one off, turn that one on. It still, it's still, it still inverts. Inverts because it, you have put six black squares in that column. so. The clue is complete. Yes. But not right. necessarily. So we correct. don't know that they are correct. If at any point you're not sure, yeah. if you might have gone wrong, there's a button in the bottom left that looks like a magnifying glass, which will tell you if there are errors. Um, 
If you press that fix button, it will correct them. Or remove them. Remove them. It will remove them. Yes, not correct them. It will remove, remove them. Remove the mistakes that you've made. Um, but then you forfeit the pretty medal. Yeah. On the uh, menu and then screen. The, the progress on the menu screen puts a medal on your icon if you solve it without using any of these fixes. So I'm not going to because yeah. we were just putting that into show. Completionists. Yes. <laughs> But we can work out where some more of those squares are on the right, can't we? We can. Um, with the six, we, regardless of where we colored it in, so if we colored in the top ones, or if we moved it down, 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 those two in the middle stayed colored in the whole time. And yep. if you don't believe me, rewind the video, watch again slowly, <laughs> and keep an eye on those two, um, and you'll see that they were always colored in. I've uncolored one that should have stayed colored. So we know that those three have to be coloured in, even though we don't know where all six go. Indeed. We know those three have to be coloured in. Okay. Um, the column before it, I've done some counting here while, yep. <laughs> while we were talking, and I can't help but notice that we need three black before this uh, pink colour, so we can colour those in, and six black after it, and you know what? It's just the right number. Just the right number there, so I can colour in the whole thing, which is quite nice. So where should we go next? Should we work backwards? Okay from this, this right-hand edge. Yeah, and I'm seeing there are several places you could go. There there's are no right and wrong places. way to solve. Well, there is a wrong way to solve these, which is to guess. Yes, that is definitely you the wrong way. You never need to guess. There is always a logical route to find the way to the end of the, the puzzle. Yes, there's always a, a logical next move to take. Um, so looking at this row, mm -hmm. we need a block of two black and then a block of four black. Starting from the right-hand end, we have to have a block of four black. We have two, so we can add two more to make it a four, then there has to be a space before the block of two, because it's the same colour. Otherwise it'd be a six. Otherwise it would be a six, so we can, we can mark that one. Uh, and then the row underneath, we need three black on this end, so we can do that. Then we get to green on this uh, row, and I can't help but notice that there are only two green in this puzzle, and I know where they're going to go. Yeah, it's just the intersection <laughs> of all the greens, isn't it? Yes, they're, they're both on the same row, the own, a green only appears in that column and that column, so that's where they have to go. And I can mark in some more X's because we know. Yes, all that's left is the one that's on the left hand side of the row. Yes, and so we... everything to the right of those greens has to be blank. Yes. Yeah, in this column underneath this uh, green we just put in, there are no more things to colour, so yep. we can mark those all as X's. Um, hmm. I'm intrigued by the row two from the right that goes one, two, three, two. One, two, three, two. Yes, because the three is there. Oh yes, the three is complete. Uh, and above the three, we need only a one and a two, and there's only space for a one and a mm -hmm. two above it. So we can color those in, like that. Uh, and because the block after the three is the same color, we know that has to be an X. So we yes. can mark that one as well. We can even continue down that row because there's only room for three and you have to fit two of them in. Ah, so whether my two goes here and here or here and here, mm -hmm. that middle one stayed coloured. Absolutely. So we can mark that one and that is staying a there. very powerful technique for solving these. It is. It is indeed. Let's do that same thing on the far left column where there's a six as well. Ah! The same as we did on the mm. far right column. That'll help. Uh, we know that if we count down one, two, three, four, five, six, we get to there. And yep. if we count up on one, two, three, four, five, six, we get to there. So those two have to be coloured in. Yes. Which gives us this two in this row and we can cut those mark those as x's and row that underneath is now, complete. is now complete as well Whew, it's getting there it is where next uh i'm looking at this column here okay because it's got a block of four and then a block of one we have two adjacent squares colored in That's so good. that must be part of the four can't be part of the one there's an x underneath it so we know it has to be those two yep we can mark an x above because there's no more above it that's great. Uh, that top row, you've now got a two that's finished on the right. So oh, put yes. another X in. Another X and in. on the row below, you can also put another X in that column. Oh, yes, because we have the um, mm. right hand end of those clues are complete. So we can mark those. And that one there. So. So this six on the right hand column now has to start from this point. So we can count our six down and complete that column. Hmm. Right, this row, because we had one black and then one orange, and then we need five black, and we've only got one. Okay, I can make that longer. Put the rest of them in. There we go. Now we've got five of them. That's better. Groovy. Ooh, and looking at the pink, that has to come next. 
from the uh, row clues, it could go in this column or this column, but looking above at the column clues, we can see it has to go in this column and then we can colour in the last of the pink. Uh, one goes there, there's nothing before that pink, <gasps> which means we can now complete this last or well, first column. I'm all backwards because we started yeah, on the yeah, side. Yeah, you started working on the side. <laughs> right. Then the next column, above these two pink colours, we need one black. So we can make that one black there. Which then means this top row needs one more black to make the two. And is now complete. Okay. Uh, this column should start with a block of four black. We seem to have a one and then a space and then a two. Fill it in. Fill it in, makes a four. <laughs> All is groovy. Um, this row then just needs that one more black and we can complete that. Right, we need to jump down yeah, here near the bottom. Right useful, isn't it? Um, on the bottom row, we need three black on the right end. So we've got the first one, so we can colour those in, which completes that column and completes that column. Then over here, on this row, we started with one black and then we need a space before the next black, and the same on the row underneath, which then means this column that needs two more black, there's only two blank spaces left, so it has to be those two, which completes that row, and then that means one more black to complete there. Okay, then not much left. Interesting situation left. We need in this row one black and one black. Now, they can't go adjacent, otherwise it would be a two. Yeah. So, it has to be on either end with a space in the middle. Indeed Does it does. that make sense? Yep. Uh, just one completes left. Completes that column, completes that column, and puts that last square in there. For cat face. Cute little kitty. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit more recognisable at that size than the 5x5. Five five. Yes, it is. And these puzzles get considerably bigger still. They do. And we get some quite intricate pictures out of them. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll do that one in another video yeah. but that, that's um, an introduction now to how you solve Picapix colour puzzles go ahead download the free demo from the Nintendo eShop for 3DS or Wii U Yes. see how you get on if give it like a try it. the game is available for both consoles Yes. Uh, it's £4.50 in the UK yeah. €5, Euros, $5 those kind of prices for 150 puzzles Yes. if you really like it there's DLC. Yes, there are extra puzzles to For well, purchase. what will eventually be hundreds of puzzles. We're working on adding more to it. The first packs are already available. And you can choose whether you just want the small puzzles or a mixture or the large ones. Or on Wii U, super giant puzzles. Super giant puzzles. <laughs> Up to 35 by 25 they go, don't they? Yes, they, they do. They take a while to solve. I think it takes even you half an hour. Yeah. <laughs> So, we will leave it there for this video. Yes. If you are struggling with any of these puzzles, we're happy to help. Yes. Post on Meverse, leave comments on this video. Send them via Twitter. I'm yeah. usually around on Twitter. Twitter to Lightwood Games. Get in contact if you're struggling, and we will help. Yep, and we'll make another video with uh, a much larger puzzle if you want more of this. Yes. <laughs> I think I'll do it for now. Okay. Bye. Bye.